for asking. Awesome. How are you, uh, Free Car? Hello. I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Can you hear me? I can. Are you the teacher? Yes. All right. How about you, Minervina? Sorry? I was talking to Minervina. Minervina, I don't know what that, what is that, what there is. Uh, Minervina, she is to your right. Ah, uh, hello Minervina. Maybe her microphone doesn't work. How about you, Alex? How are you? I can kind of hear you. Um, I'm good. I'm from California. You're from Peru? Yeah, Peru. Uh, Peru. It's in South America. Uh, it's, it's, it's in the... Um, it's uh, I, I don't know I forget it's uh, it's a border with Ecuador and and Chile. Yes. Yeah, I know where Peru is. Cool. My yes. Yeah. So, do you know Peru? Have you been to Peru? I've never been to Peru, but I know Peru. Well, cool. Uh, so I, well, I, I can't hear you so well. If it's possible, could you turn up your microphone so that we can hear you better? Your voice sounds very quiet. I think his maker is very far from his mouth. Yeah. Or bring the microphone closer. What about you, George? How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm doing well. How about you? I'm good. Great. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Colombia, teacher. Oh, nice. All right, and Paula, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Awesome. Where are you from? I'm from Colombia, too. Cool. So, Colombia, Colombia, and then Fricar. Where I'm are you from? from? I'm from Venezuela. Venezuela. Very oh. near from Colombia. Yeah, cool. What about I mean? Yes, teacher. Where are you? Where are you from again? I'm from Morocco. Morocco. Okay. Yes. Nice. All right, well, welcome to the High Beginner Grammar, everyone. Um, this is a, you know, open class. I've been teaching some open grammar uh, on different levels. So, um, yeah, I just want to answer your questions on any sort of grammar type thing that you you're not so sure about um, so yeah do you guys have any questions what are you supposed to start about today yeah like do you have any questions about um, I don't know, just, just any sort of grammar yeah thing? what are we supposed to I have a question okay uh, what's the difference between stuff and things? Stuff and things? Because people say, I, li I like a lot of things or I like a lot of things. Yeah, I like a lot of stuff. I'm not sure what's the difference. Because when you when you look in, in Google Translate or on, on in a dictionary, you, you mm -hmm. find it's, it's the same mean in Spanish. Okay. 
Well, it is um, very similar. Um, there's, um, you know, stuff is stuff and things are both uh, like a physical thing. Like um, in my room right now, I have a lot of stuff on the floor. I have speakers, a computer, I've got jackets, um, some cards. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff on the ground. Um, I don't know, you know, it can be either or. They're basically the same thing because you can have a lot of stuff to think about or you can have a lot of things to think about. I also have a lot of things on the floor, many things, a computer, a fan. Is it same? It's basically the same thing, yeah. Is the stuff countable or uncountable? Uh, stuff, I think it's, it's uncountable. uncountable. I think, I'm not sure. Uh, uncountable. Uncountable because I, I look I look in, in YouTube, I don't know. I think it's YouTube, same in English. And uh, they tell that stuff use it you have to use it with rice or with milk wine with things no, that uncountable that they had they, they are uncountable un uncountable and things yeah. you have to use it with cons balls yeah that's the one difference is that stuff is uncountable you count things with you count things and you don't count stuff. Yeah. Stuff is just there. Because you don't have, you don't say I have one stuff, two stuff, mm -hmm. three stuff. You have like, I have one thing, two things, three things, five things. Yeah. So and you can uh, count I, things. I think you can say I have two rices. No. I think it's no, I have cannot. <laughs> rice it's because rice is countable. Ah. Uncountable. Yeah, rice you you don't count. So, um, teacher, how do you pronounce your name, Zachary? Yep, Zachary. Zachary is okay. Okay, and you are American. I am American. Yes. I uh, used to live in Georgia. Mm -hmm. I now live in California. Mm -hmm. I've also lived in Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. Have you been to Brazil? I've never been to Brazil. I had a friend in middle school that was from Brazil. Mm -hmm. um, but I've never, never actually been there. Okay. Um, uh, okay, so let's see, what are some, uh, what are some things that you guys need help with for grammar? I mean, I've got some games that we can play. Mm -hmm. Games are fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's see. Um... You guys know conjunctions, right? Yeah. Okay, let's start with um, this game here. You just go from left to right. And then, uh, so, oh, Jacqueline, welcome, Jacqueline. You weren't here earlier. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so can everybody see? Yes. All right, this is the conjunctions wheel game. Let's see, I'm going to hit this. So, how do we complete the sentence? The first one will go to Amin. Amin, what's the answer? 
<coughs> okay. I don't. Uh, huh? So it says, is the so Eiffel Tower. Tower. Ah. Or Paris. Or. Is the Eiffel Tower in London or Paris? That's correct. Very good. All right. All right. So next one. Fricar. Okay. I can play football. Uh, until six o'clock. Uh, I, I can play football until six o'clock. Then I have to go home. Yes, very good. Until six o'clock. Nice. All right, next one goes to Jacqueline. Yeah. So it says Marion. Can you read the Marianne whole sentence? Marion hasn't been to France, but she has been to Germany. All right, good. Very good. All right, next one. Minervina? Yes. Would you like to do this last one? Yes. Um, we stayed at home and ate there. Yep, very good, very good. All right. Wow. So, no problem on conjunctions? No. All right, sweet. <laughs> I need to so, <a> start. <laughs> let's look at something a little more difficult. Oh, that's, uh, so that's bad. <laughs> How about... Let's see, what is this? Can, could, must, would. Uh, we'll try and make it a... Uh, um, grammar. Superstar. What color should we be? Mm. Red. Blue. We'll do a red and then blue shoes. All right. <laughs> so, number one. Welcome, Alex. Welcome, Arthur. How are you two? Thank you. Fine. How are you? Doing good. And how about you, Magdiel? Magdiel? Castillo? All right. All right well, Alex, yes. welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. <laughs> My internet is slow, so we're good. OK, that's no problem. All right, I need you to help us find the answer. It's either A or B. So the first person says, I'm thirsty. And then can you finish the sentence? Who? So Alex? Can you read the sentence with the proper phrase? Alex, I can't hear you. Sorry, I had to mute you guys. I'm just hearing a lot of background noise. I 
Yeah. Alex, is it A or B? Yeah. Yeah, yep. A or B? B. B? B. Okay, very good. So, I'm thirsty, but you just drank 10 glasses of water. You can't be thirsty already. Nice. All right, all right. I'm gonna try and score a basket. Ah! <laughs> okay, that was really difficult. <laughs> all right, what about Arthur? Or wait, I mean. Yes. All right, so for this one, can you read this one for me? Okay. I haven't seen our neighbors for ages. The they uh, couldn't have gone away. B, I think. Oh no! So it'd be they must have gone. I'm correct. Oh, mm -hmm. it's okay. It's always next time. All right, how about for car? Right. Arthur, Arthur, wait, Arthur's back. Arthur, go ahead. Okay, uh, is it raining? Not at the moment, but it it could rain later. Yes. All right, let's try this again. Dang it. It's so hard. All right, for car. All right. Uh, where was Tina gone? I'm not sure. She might have gone to the bank. So where has Tina gone? She might have gone to the bank. Yes. Thank you. Very good. How did I miss? I got it right on the spot. Uh, be, be, uh, <laughs> I wish uh, I wish I could give the controls over to you guys. All right, Jacqueline. Hi. Um, Number five. Do you know which one it is? Couldn't go. Can you read oh. the whole thing for me? Uh, I, I, I can't. A uh, letter B can can't go. Can you read the whole conversation, yes. please? Uh, I didn't see you at the snow last week. No, I had to work that evening, so I can't go. It was couldn't go. So I didn't. I did not see you at the show last week. No, I had to work that evening, so I couldn't go is a past tense. It's okay. Couldn't go. Alright, how about Juan? Yeah? Number six. So remember to keep uh, your past tenses together and your present tenses together. Yes. You couldn't have seen letter A. Can you read the whole conversation, please? Uh, I read? Yes. yes. I saw you at the show last week. No, you didn't. You couldn't have seen me. I didn't go to the show. 
All right, very good. Let's try this. Shoot, I already messed it up. That's right, <laughs> letter A. Yeah, that was right. Okay, number seven. Minervina. Yes. Can you do number seven? Yes. When did you mail the letter to Johnson? This morning. So he must get it tomorrow. Final answer? Letter B, must get it. So when did you mail the letter to Johnson this morning? So he should get it tomorrow. Should get. Should get. This is a hard game. All right. How about a uh, Odalon? Are you there? Segundo? All right, what about I mean? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Would you like to do number eight? Okay. When? When? Uh, when was the last time you saw Tony? Twelve years ago. Uh, I wouldn't rec recognize him if I saw him now. Very good. Because the last time mm -hmm. he saw him was 12 years ago, so he would not recognize him if he saw him now. Oh. You are very bad, teacher. I was doing so good, too. Just a little bit off. All right, number nine, Arthur. Arthur? How about Fricar? Uh-huh. Would you like to go? Of course. All Did right, you... go for it. Did you hear the blast? What blast? There was a loot blast a few minutes ago. You, you must have heard it. Yes. Yes. So good. I wasn't sure. Dang it. Ah. Uh, All right, last one. <laughs> Jacqueline. Jacqueline? Yeah. Um. Uh, Tim wasn't sure which way to go. In the end, he turned it right. He went to wrong way. He should have turned to left. Yes, very good. No. <laughs> you don't know how to play basketball, teacher. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> well, hey, if you want to practice uh, shooting those hoops. There's the link. <laughs> it's pretty tough. All right, so you guys understand um, models or modals? Let's look at the grammar rules. 
So, what we were playing with were uh, modal verbs. The modal verbs include can, must, may, might, will, would, and should. They are used with other verbs to express ability, obligation, possibility, and so on. So modal verbs are unlike other verbs. They do not change their form. So the form always stays the same. It's always may, must, could, would, should. And they have no infinite or participle. So there's no past present of them. The modals must and can need substitute verbs to, to express obligation or ability in the different tenses. Do you guys want to learn more about those, or are you okay on them? What do you guys think? You're okay on them? Okay. Well, here, for your reference, is um, the grammar rules for that. All right. Let's find something else. Um, oh, what about conditionals? Do you remember conditionals? Mm, so I'm not. All right, let's look at this one. All right, so this one's called fling the teacher. Let's look at conditionals. What does it mean, fling? Another game? I wanna play. What does fling mean? Fling means to to throw. To fling is to throw something, I guess. Like fling a rock into the water. Just kind of like not caring about it. Mm. All right, so first, second, and third conditionals. Uh, Here are the examples. First conditional, if I have enough money, I will go to Japan. Second conditional, if I had enough money, I would go to Japan. Third conditional, if I had had enough money, I would have gone to Japan. So it's basically... Um, So when something's possible, um, when something is possible, it's a first conditional. And it's either present or future. Second conditional is something impossible or improbable. Something that, you know, might not be likely to happen. So present is the time and the tense is past. So, moving on to the third one, it's unreal, just completely impossible. Um, the time is past. So, something that was um, way in the past. So, we're talking about a situation that was not so in the past. If you had warned me, I would have, I would not have told your father about that party. But you didn't, and I have. So that was just a quick run through. Let's see um, how you guys do. <laughs> what is this? Uh, this is the teacher. I guess uh, I'll make a, it'll, it'll be me. I don't know if my hair looks that silly. Maybe it's messy like that. I have no beard. Okay. Please, glasses. All right. So let's see here. To fling the teacher, you have to build a trebuchet by answering 15 questions correctly. This is a medieval... Uh, a medieval weaponry, a medieval weapon. 
that was used to, to fling rocks at castles. It's called a trebuchet. All right, so first one goes to Amin. Can you read it? Yes, sure. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, if you found, if you find, found B or C, <laughs> which one? <laughs> <laughs> it's a world full of money. What would you do with it? Uh, <clears throat> if you find a world full of money, yeah. what would you do with it? No? No. <laughs> yes, I think it's fine. No, well, because you have old. Old is for the second condition. No. Well, I mean, what do you think? Uh, yes, <laughs> final answer. Yeah. It was found. I'm sorry, but you're incorrect. <laughs> oh, so bad. All right, next one goes to Arthur. Yeah, uh, we must hurry. Our friends will be annoyed if. We were not. We are. We were not. No, we are not. Time. Maybe D. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Thanks. Uh, Fricar. All right. It's a longer. <laughs> huh? Okay. Let me think. Why? In university, I didn't realize English was such an important subject. If uh, if I have known, if I have known, I could have studied English harder in university. So is that A? B or C or D? A, A. Okay, so if I had known. Very good. All right. How about Jeffrey? Yes, sir. Would you like to answer this one? Okay. If, if the poem. If the phone is, is ringing, can you answer it for me, please? I think A. Nah. Are you sure? Oh no, it was it was ringing. C C. Do you want Do you want to ask? C -C. Those? You want to skip it? Yeah, I skip. Jinx. Oh wait. That'll make two incorrect answers removed. So it's either was ringing or rings. You can also ask for help. Simple you may problem. you may ask one person for help. You can do it, man. So, what do you think, Jeffrey? Yes, sir. Which which one is it? C or D? Sh she. Yes. She. No. She. no. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? 
Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> it was rings. It was rings. Okay, so we know that it's if you found, and then we must hurry. Our friends will be annoyed if we are not on time. While in university, I didn't realize English was such an important subject. If I had known, I would have studied English harder in university. If the phone rings, can you answer it for me, please? All right, next one is for Juan. Good, good try, Jeffrey, good try. All right, Juan. Uh, that's totally fine. That's why we're here. So now it's Juan. Hello. Are you ready? Sorry. Uh, Tina can't decide what to do. What would you do if you were in her position? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Very good. Thank you. How about Minervina? Her position. Yes, I'm here. Yeah. Um, what shall shall we do tomorrow? Well, if it uh, is, let it be, mm -hmm. if it is a nice day, we can go to the beach. Very good. Zero conditional. Yes. Yeah. All right, how about Segundo? Did you figure it out? Segundo? How about Alex? Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Yeah. Nice. Uh, let's go. Can you? No. Let's go. Go to swimming. Yeah. Let's go swimming. No, it's too cold. If it. Uh, were warmer, I wouldn't mind going for a swim. Yes? Yes. Very good. Nice job. Next is Amin. Yes. Thank you. If you have, if you have enough money to buy anything, what's the most expensive thing you would buy? Uh, uh, D. No. No. There are a lot of noise. Yeah, it's yeah, so sorry. noise. It can sorry. be a <laughs> Okay, you can choose one of the three things at the bottom here. So if you're not sure what the answer is, you can choose uh, to take two away, or to vote, or to ask. Is it incorrect? Uh, which one did you choose? If you have. If, okay, so if you have enough money to buy anything, what is this supposed to do? Noise. 
Oh no, it was had. It was the the, it's the first one. It's so she found a lot. Of a. We must hurry, our friends will be annoyed if we are not on time. While in university, I didn't realize English was such an important subject. If I had known, I would have studied English harder. University. If the phone rings, can you answer it for me, please? Tina can't decide what to do. What would you, what would you do if you were in her position? What shall we do tomorrow? Well, if it is a nice day, we can go to the beach. Let's go swimming. No, it's too cold. If it were warmer, I wouldn't mind going for a swim. Did you go swimming yesterday? No, it was too cold. If it... If it... This is the next one. <laughs> this is the next one? Okay. Yeah. So who's next? Who is next? You are the teacher, you said it. <laughs> well, who went before? Hey, Alex. Where did Alex go? I don't know. She left. Okay, well, I, it's, a, it's a meme. I mean, are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. Go ahead. Okay. Did you go swimming yesterday? No, it was, it was too cold. If it... Uh, uh, no, it uh, if it if it had be, uh, had been warmer, we might we may have gone, no? Yes. The first. First one, yes, it's okay. It's the right. third condition. And Arthur. Okay. Uh, I think it's a if if you have enough money to buy anything, what is the most expensive thing you would buy? I think a. Oh no 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 no! I'm sorry. It was c. It's in the past. If you had. Yes. You had enough money to buy anything. Yeah, yeah. It's the most expensive thing you would buy. All right. Next is Celio. And remember, guys, if you don't know, there's these hints down here. You can choose to take a hint. It's like, who wants to be a millionaire? So mm -hmm. uh, Celio's gone. How about for car? Me? Yep. Uh, I'm glad we had a GPS device. Is it device? Yep. I'm sure we will have got lost if we... Is D. Free car? Is the letter D. Sorry, let me think. <laughs> oh my god. Jesse would have got. It's for the third condition. So, free car, you can choose. 
is to ask, vote, or take two away. Uh, el take two. And also, everyone, if it's not your turn, please don't shout out the answer. It's D, had and had. Yes, very good. All right, so if it's not your turn, uh, please let whoever's just turn is trying to good. help him. Yeah, that's because okay. I, what I can see is that some students, they don't understand the tenses so that they can connect what is first, what is second, what is third. Which conditions? When you that? understand the tense, it's easier. Yes. Yeah, like I appreciate that, but when somebody is just like, <laughs> you know, it's this answer, this is the answer, then um, oh, it, yeah. it doesn't yeah. really help. But yeah, I appreciate, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, you adding, or anybody adding, you know, if, if it's past, present, or, or what, or if it's a first, second, or third conditional, mm -hmm. that's cool too. Mm -hmm. But we also, we have these down here, if somebody needs help. You can uh, mm -hmm. ask someone, or you can all vote on the answer. All right. To Jeffrey. Is it my turn? Yes. The car crash crash was your fault. If you. I drive, I drive. She. So if you have driven, I think that you should either ask or vote. Ask. <laughs> so. This guy is not always correct, oh. <laughs> but he thinks that it no. had been driving. No, I'm what do you think? I, I, I don't trust him. You don't trust him? You must do it, no. man. <laughs> what do you think the answer is? I think you can ask someone for help if you want. Okay, have prayer. Huh? Alright, I'm giving you five seconds. Five, four, half three. G. G. It was had oh. been. The expert was actually correct. She told you, man. Alright. <laughs> If you didn't want to trust him. Found, we must hurry. Our friends will be annoyed if we are not on time. While in the university, I didn't realize English was such an important su subject. If I had known, I would have study studied English harder in university. If the phone rings, can you answer it for me, please? Tina can't decide what to do. What would you do if you were in her position? What shall we do tomorrow? Well, if it is a nice day, we can go to the beach. Did you go swimming yesterday? No, it was too cold. If it was warmer, wait, if it had been warmer, we might have gone. If you 
enough money to buy anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if it was, if you had enough money to buy anything. Yes. I am glad we had a GPS device. I am sure we would have got lost if we hadn't had one. The car crash was your fault. If you it was, had been driving more carefully, it wouldn't have happened. All right, next one. Juan. Juan, did you go last time? Or no, not. Juan? Uh, was, was that Jeffrey? Jeffrey, did you go? Okay, how about Minervina? Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. Why do you watch TV? Well, if I didn't watch TV, I wouldn't know what was happening in the world. No. Yes. <laughs> it's no. second conditional. Second yes. conditional. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Very yeah. good. <laughs> okay. All right. Better than me. You just need to know the tenses. First conditional is sim uh, simple present and the simple future. Second conditional, simple past, would, and the base verb. Yep. And then what about third conditional? Third conditional, past perfect, and the would, and the present perfect. If you make this connection, it's easier. And the zero, simple present, simple present. Okay, let's look at this. Just take a look. You see? So here's the uh, here's the example of a first conditional. If I yeah. have enough money, I will go to Japan. Yeah, have simple present, will simple future. Yes, if I had enough money, I would go to Japan. That's the second conditional. Yeah. Had simple past, would and infinitive, would go, would have, would study. And then third, if I had had enough money, I would have gone to Japan. Past yeah. perfect. Had had, yeah, had had is past perfect. And the would and the present perfect would have gone, would have studied, would have traveled. Yes. All right. So we've got three more questions to go. Alex? Yes. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. It says Lily is tired all the time. Lily. doesn't go to the bed so late she wouldn't be tired all the time. Okay. Sorry, the dog was shaking. If Lily, Lily is tired is tired all the time. If Lily doesn't go to the bed so late uh, she wouldn't be tired all the time. Alright, what do you guys think? What does everybody think? <laughs> it didn't go, I think. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anybody else? If Lily. Yes, it was actually uh, didn't go. So if Lily didn't go. Yeah. All right. That's all right. All right. How about I mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I feel sick because I ate so much cake last night. Uh, 
third condition. If I haven't eaten, no, so much cake. I would have been fine, no? What do you guys think? No. Yeah, it hadn't. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, A or B? Uh, if, I, uh, if, I, if I wasn't eating, no? No. I was actually hadn't. If I hadn't eaten, hadn't so eaten. Best, I would have been That's perfect. Alright, last oh, one. Oh my god, what music. Yeah, what is the holy music? Who would you call if a thief blank into your house? This one goes to Arthur. Okay, for this is the last question, I think I will take a ask <laughs> for first. <laughs> Alright, ask the professional. Yeah. Uh, I'm not... Percent. Certain. I think that the answer had broken. Okay. Okay. And uh, if it's again last question, I will take what also. <laughs> Is T? Oh, two different meanings. Right, I will. Is T broke? Very good. Second condition. Oh wait, is this not the last one? Oh, this is the last one actually. Okay. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> I took all of that. All right. For Car, luckily for you, the robber didn't break into your house last night. Who would you have called if the robber? Ooh. What do you think? A. 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 That's A. The robber had broken into your house. That's Yay! Oh, we finished. <laughs> you know. Oh, poor Pira. <laughs> <laughs> it's a difficult game. The teacher is has been flung. Is this fling? Yes. Catapult flung the teacher. Oh. Throw away. Congratulations. Kick the teacher. 